Hi guys and welcome to Historically. For today's video, we'll be using age progression techniques to imagine what some of the biggest names in rock music might have looked like if they had lived longer. From guitar legends to frontmen and women, we'll explore the impact that these artists had on the world of music and pay tribute to their enduring legacies. So sit back, relax, and let's take a journey through time to see what it could have been. Elvis Presley was an American singer, actor, and cultural icon who became known as the king of rock and roll. He was born in Tupelo, Mississippi in 1935 and began his music career in the mid-1950s, blending country, blues, and rockabilly music into a unique style that captivated audiences around the world. With hits like Heartbreak Hotel, Hound Dog, and Jailhouse Rock, he became quickly a superstar selling millions of records and thrilling fans with his electrifying live performances. Despite his untimely death in 1977, his influence on popular music continues to be felt to this day. Del Shannon was an American singer and songwriter who rose to fame in the early 1960s with his hit song, Run Away. He was born in Grand Rapids, Michigan in 1934 and began playing guitar and writing songs as a teenager, which eventually found success after signing with Big Top Records in 1961. His distinctive falsetto voice and catchy melodies, he became one of the most popular singers of his era scoring hits with songs like Hats Off to Larry and Little Town Flirt. Despite struggles with alcoholism and depression, he continued to record and perform throughout his life, earning a reputation as one of the most talented and influential musicians of his generation. Bobby Fuller was an American singer, songwriter, and guitarist who is best known for his hit song, I Fought the Law. Born in Baytown, Texas, in 1942, Fuller began playing music as a teenager and quickly gained a reputation as one of the most talented musicians of his generation. With his band, The Bobby Fuller Four, he recorded a number of popular songs in the mid-1960s, including Let Her Dance and Love's Made a Fool of You. Despite his success, Fuller's life was cut short when he was found dead in his car under mysterious circumstances in 1966, at the age of 23. Alan Wilson was an American musician and songwriter who was best known as the co-founder and lead singer of the blues rock band Canned Heat. Born in Boston, Massachusetts in 1943, Wilson began playing music as a child and eventually moved to California to pursue a career as a musician. With Canned Heat, he recorded a number of popular songs in the late 1960s, including On the Road Again and Going Up the Country. Known for his exceptional talent on the harmonica and his deep knowledge of blues music, Wilson was a respected figure in the world of music before his death in 1970 at the age of 27. Bob Hyde was an American singer and harmonica player, best known as the lead vocalist for the blues rock band Canned Heat. He was born on February 26, 1945 in Torrance, California. He co-founded Canned Heat in 1965 and the band became known for their energetic and live performances of blues-influenced rock. His deep, soulful voice was a signature of the band's sound. He was also known for his prowess on the harmonica. He remained with the canned heat until his death from a heart attack on April 6, 1961.
Henry Vastine was an American guitarist best known for his work with blues rock band Canned Heat. He was born on December 25, 1944, in Tacoma Park, Maryland. Vestine was a skilled guitarist who had a deep knowledge of blues and rock music. He joined the band in 1966 and became known for his fiery solos and inventive playing style. He left the band in 1969, but continued to perform and record throughout his life. Playing with a variety of musicians and bands, he passed away on October 20, 1997 in Paris, France. Frank Zappa was an American musician, composer and band leader who was born on December 21, 1940 in Baltimore, Maryland. Zappa was known for his unique musical style that blended rock, jazz and classical music. He was also a social commentator, using his music to criticize political and social issues. Zappa was a prolific artist, releasing over 60 albums during his lifetime. He passed away on December 4, 1993. Sandy Danny was an English singer-songwriter who was born on January 6, 1947, in London, England. She was the lead singer for the folk rock band Fairport Convention and is widely considered as one of the greatest British folk rock singers of all time. Danny also had a successful solo career, releasing several critically acclaimed albums. Passed away on April 21, in 1978, due to a brain hemorrhage.